government. You know, and and this gets into a whole wide open thing. Maybe the corporation under their constitution or their bylaws, uh, President Obama, the president of the corporation, is allowed to write presidential executive orders. Uh, and it's not treasonous. We believe it is because we, we're functioning on that whole de jure government thing, except we don't have a de jure government. Right. We've got well, a bunch of criminals. Well, let me play devil's advocate for a second, if you will. Now, I'm, I'm going to come at you with your average Joe Schmuckatelli American uh, comeback to you. Right, my, uh, now, Gwen, Gwen did, did, you, did you say de jure? Is that, that's a type of mustard, ain't it? Because that's what it is. You're dealing with people that have been so dumbed down over time that they don't even know what kind of government they have, let alone uh, whether it's de facto or de jure. You know? Right. Or, or they don't know that stuff. They think de jure is a type of mustard. You know, it's Dijon, you dummy. You know, but that's, that's the way it is. <laughs> you know, but that's, that's what you're dealing with. So in exactly. order to get... But in order to get the point across, this is this is my prop. Like with the sovereign citizen movement, fantastic movement, love it to death. But you're too smart for your own good, and you have to dumb it down for the average Joe Schmuckatelli American to be able to understand it. And when you start saying de, fa- de facto, what the hell does de facto mean? You know, well, they, well, they, they, they don't mean? know what that means. Well, you I know thought- what I'm saying. Yes, I like to tell people exactly what that means. In 1871, when our government became a corporation, they could no longer represent the people um, under the they, – they they're not a, even a government anymore. They're now a business. So we were left – with no government and were controlled by a corporation. Is that not what fascism is? Hello? It is true. Me thinks it is a little bit of fascism, but people seem to be quite content with the, their fascist ways right now. Now, oh hell no, no one's content. Well, not so, not so now. More than ever before, we're seeing people wake up to the fact that you know they are getting robbed, and it was only after uh, the banksters and the corporatists the military-industrial complex, all of these string pullers, I guess you could say, the ones that pull the puppet strings of the Obamas, of the congressmen, of uh, the people in federal office that don't do their job as true public servants, those are the people that are, that are actually raping the average Joe on the street, that are making us poorer, that make things cost more, that inflate these prices that we have it, it's 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 sick it's thievery and unfortunately they've almost run out of things to to to, to rape and pillage and when oh. we come back and when we come back from from the break of course um and we'll talk about this more on the other side of the hour is now they're talking about going into the rural areas oh we're taking all we can out of uh, the cities so uh <laughs> Let's start taking it from the farmers and everybody else that doesn't want to be a part of it. Well, that it's not only that, but we we've got to talk about a, a House Resolution uh, twenty four eleven. They haven't taken enough. They they took our homes, our jobs, all of our industry, shipped it off to China, India, Indonesia, Pakistan, wherever, and now they want us to voluntarily pay out of our wages. Uh, to the Treasury Department for the national debt. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy, Gwen. You know, like I said, when we come back from break, we'll take care of tackle all this stuff. Folks, if you want to uh, email us a question, email me, uh, thefreedomlink at centurylink.net. We'll be right back after the break. Stay tuned. Don't go away. back folks it's the second half of hour one here freedom link radio coming at you joe joseph here with gwen caldwell john king will be around here shortly 
And uh, yeah, see, I, I like that. I like that music coming in, Gwen, because it gets me all fired up. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> as if we weren't already, you know? But do um, uh, you want to continue the conversation? Go ahead. Speak it up. Go ahead. Well, yeah. Um, I, I just like to, I'd like to uh, talk about this um, HR uh, 2411.ih. Yes. I hate HR 2411.ih. IH means introduced in the house. And it, I, I want to tell everyone out there who the morons are that did this. Uh, Mr. Crawford for himself, Mr. Tibbery, Mr. Fincher, Mr. Laundry, Landry, Mr. Denham, Mr. Dold, Mr. Flores, and Mr. Griffin of Arkansas, Mr. Scott, uh, Austin Scott of Georgia, Mr. Huenzga, Hugh, Huez, close enough. Uh, of Michigan, <laughs> some name close I can't enough. pronounce. Check. Some moron from Michigan, uh, Mr. Palazzo and Mr. Guente, Guenta introduced mm-hmm. the following bill, which was referred to the Committee on Ways and Means uh, to provide for an employee election on form w4 to have amounts deducted and withheld from wages to be used to reduce the public debt so this means we are already broke but they're going to have to redo all the w4 forms for everybody that's still fortunate enough to have a job in america go figure okay be it enacted by the senate and house of representatives of the united states of america the corporation in Congress assembled. Short title, this act may be cited as the Reduce America's Debt Now Act of 2011. Section 2, voluntarily withholding from payroll for reduction of the public debt. In general, Yahoo! Yeah. Oh, this just winds me up. I can't even begin. <laughs> I was going to say I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to like put a speed bump in here in any way there. But but <laughs> you right. did I too. Mean, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I totally did. You're right. <clears throat> you're right. But you, but to make a long story short, before you get back in into that, so basically what they're doing is they're saying, okay, well. Let's see. Well, we've got the federal tax deduction. That comes out of people's payroll. We've got FICA. That comes out of people's payroll. Social Security. That comes out of people's payroll. Let's pay down the debt by pulling it out of people's payroll, too. Yeah. Now, what I'd like to point out about that, Joe, is that all of those things are voluntary. Unless you live in and work in the parameter of Washington, D.C., Mm -hmm. That is a foreign corporation. It's a foreign nation, city nation on our soil. They are the ones that are required. They are U.S. citizens. They are required to pay income tax, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Same as if you are from, uh, if you're a foreign national working in the United States, such as Puerto Rico, Guam, uh, Virgin Islands, like that. They are also required. So all of these things are presented to us as voluntary, but people are scared to death not to be a voluntary taxpayer. People are scared to death to not say, no, uh, uh, you know, like us, you know, we're covered by Indian Health Services. So they, they take out Medicare, but we don't need Medicare because we get free Indian Health Services. So we don't need Medicare. Mm-hmm. And but they they try and deduct it anyway, even if you say no. And, and so this is voluntary, of course. But, um, you know, it, it it ends up never being voluntary just, when, when the fat lady sings at the I end just of the wonder, day. I wonder how public they're going to make it. Kind of like the DREAM Act. All right, we'll, well, we'll just pass it by executive order. Shh, shh. No, no, no. So if if they don't tell anybody, right, how many Americans out there do you think will actually, like, notice, uh, you know, like $10 being deducted out of their paycheck every pay period? How how many people even look at their pay stubs? I I don't know. I mean, I know I do. I know a lot of my uh, buddies and coworkers, they all do. But, I mean, 
how many people really truly pay attention these days to that kind of important information, to that stuff that's going on? And I'm sure they'll probably make it like, uh, you know, on your pay stub, it'll be like a line XB43 Zulu <laughs> or something like that. You won't even know what it means. And, well, okay, I guess it's just some sort of other deduction or whatever. <laughs> what? That's only 10 bucks, whatever. But that's, that's the kind of thing I, I'm sure they're going to try and sneak it in under well, the nose look, of everybody. Let, yes, and, and let's look at the other side of the coin on this. What does that do to the employer? Having to, if you, you know, if you've got 50 employees or you have five employees and you have just one employee that wants to voluntarily, uh, stupidly and blindly help with the national debt by having five, ten dollars taken out of their paycheck every pay period, can you imagine the red tape and all the reporting and all of the new IRS laws that are going to have to be enacted to surround? that and and the pressure it's going to put on employees and the scrutiny so that they can deduct five dollars from somebody's paycheck it's retarded at best unbelievable well, can i tell you something it, it may, maybe i'm Please. captain let me let me put on my captain obvious uniform here but um isn't that what the government does all the time <laughs> i'm just saying i mean we, we've really entered into a phase in our history, our nation's history, where uh, this is the normal way of doing things. I mean, our government, this government leviathan that, that we have in, in D.C., uh, Mike Church, a, a radio personality on Sirius Satellite Radio, refers to it as Mordor on the Potomac because that's really what it is. It takes 25 percent of our nation's GDP to run the government. And everything associated with it, 25 percent, one quarter of what this this country produces goes right back to government. Joe, that's uh, that's sick. Joe, does your wife have a budget, a household budget? Of course. Most Americans I, do. I, I have a household budget. Uh, this much comes in. So that's what I can pay out. So I can do one of two things. If I can't pay the bills, I can either figure out how to generate more flipping money or mm -hmm. I can reduce what it's costing me to live so that I am within my budget. Now, if you send a bunch of menopausal pissed off housewives like me to DC, I bet you in short order, we could have that budget fixed up in no time. Because but that wouldn't be politically how, correct. We know how, how to trim fat. Well, yeah. you know what? Our government, <laughs> our government is for the people by the people and if they need help from we the people us women to go in and show them how to do laundry and do the budget and clean house by god we could get her done that's right for menopausal women by menopausal women that's what i'm talking about and you know, <laughs> god dang i mean it's ridiculous Oh, it's damn it, it's a bad hot, it's a bad hot flash day. Beware, beware, <laughs> Congressman. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, uh, I think if the women just went with our sidearms and our pitchforks and our, our kids and our grandkids and just marched in the streets of the Capitol and, you know, just had a sit-in at the rotunda, you know, we might get somebody's attention. You know, yeah. I mean, this is ridiculous. Well, you know, I mean, look at, look at look how at they bloated all the, all the non-governmental agencies. Look at DHS, perfect example. My goodness. <laughs> Get rid of it. Well, DHS, I mean, th that was the plan all along. That was the plan all along. You know, uh, how many, whether, whether you, you look at Dr. Judy Wood for uh, alternative 9-11 yes information yes. or you look at the architects and engineers for 9-11 truth or you look at um the the work of say g edward griffin all these people they all say the same thing they're also well they're, they're they're giving a different view of how those those events happen and transpire but we're all fighting for the same thing we need to get on the same track you know that's that's what's killing this country right now Yep. When we come back, folks, we're going to talk more about that because she just struck a chord with me and now I'm pissed. So uh, when we come back from break, we're going to tackle this issue. You're listening to Freedom Link Radio. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Only time. 